Ben Woodruff here with another falconry video. I'm here today with Natiri the red-tailed hawk and we're in a beautiful place in northern Utah in the Uinta Basin. It's September. Natiri, we're starting to cut down her weight and get her ready uh, to be flying for the season. She's still a little chubby. Uh, took her out and got her beak trimmed uh, yesterday. So we're just out here scoping out the territory. But as I was driving around, uh, we were noticing as we're looking around, a lot of differences we're seeing. And we're noticing big differences in populations. And I just wanted to note on that. A lot of times there's key predators and key prey animals that people notice quite regularly. For example, uh, if deer populations go down, the hunters notice. Uh, you know, if a bald eagle's tank, you know, where they're normally seen to congregate, uh, you know, by big areas of, of fish in the winter, you know, people notice that. But it seems with a lot of other animals, they don't. And what I've been noticing is there's a lot of bird species here in Utah that are low, that are traditionally through the roof. For example, magpies. Used to be Utah had more magpies than they could throw a stick at. There's magpies everywhere, flocks of them. And now I go, I might see only one or two magpies in an entire week as I'm out and about. Um, and I'm seeing the same thing, ravens. Ravens were just overpopulated all over the state and they're going down. Uh, and I'm noticing this with all species, including a lot of the smaller species that not only regular folk, but even falconers would kind of may not pay attention to. I'm seeing this trend in few fewer and fewer species all the way around. And what I'm noticing, <clears throat> and as I've been doing a lot of reading, is there has been such an outbreak of the West Nile virus and the avian flu coming through that I don't think we're fully paying attention to it. I think that the natural ebb and flow of nature is bringing some of these numbers down through these viruses and we're not fully paying attention. We're not fully noticing it. Uh, these things have a triple, uh, a trickle down effect on all other species. If prey species go down, then the predators have to look for new prey to go after. And eventually those prey species that are not used to being predated upon also go down and those predators go down. I've mentioned in other videos recently that golden eagle populations are going down and golden eagles are staying paired up but not breeding because there are not enough rabbits around because of the rabbit hemorrhaging disease that's gone through all the Intermountain West. So I'm bringing this up just as a way of kind of like a public service announcement, like let's discuss this online, let's be aware. And I would very much like to know in your areas, have you seen all of the other birds, aside from raptors, have you seen all the other bird numbers going down the past five or six years? Because I've very much seen it. And as we drove out today here into Northern Utah, we had some friends take me out here to scope out the area. And geez, it's just, there's nothing. It's, it's you're going, you know, 40, 50, miles without seeing a wild red-tailed hawk wearing that same thing you know five six years ago I would have seen 30 of them you know a red tail every mile and I'm just not seeing that it's kind of a little alarming but that's how nature goes nature goes and, and up and down and up and down but I'm curious to hear um, worldwide but especially here in the western United States what have you other falconers been seeing are you seeing populations go down are you seeing a change in numbers because I most certainly am and I just would love to know what everybody else sees too so let me know uh, uh, down in the comments and I hope you enjoyed some of the shots around here of this beautiful canyon here in northern Utah. Um, let me know your questions and comments down below and as always happy hawking.